Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a tutorial and I have been wanting to do a look mixing purple and reds together. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I have an idea on how I want it to look. So hopefully I can bring that out today. <laughs> I haven't recorded a look like that. So I was like, okay, I want to do my makeup on camera and show you what I'm doing in the process of trying to figure out how to, how to do it. I do want it to be a pretty intense, not intense, but just kind of like a dark, deep look hopefully i can achieve that i'm gonna use these two palettes right here this one is the huda beauty amethyst obsessions and this one is the huda beauty ruby obsessions you can use any red and purple palettes that you have but i decided since these are both from the same brand i would just combine them in today's video and i think i'm gonna go ahead and get started with the red one hopefully i don't get a lot of fallout but i don't remember if i get a lot from these palettes or not but either way i'm gonna do my face makeup first so i'm gonna start off with the Pi pixie <laughs> pixie serum and this one has little little pink parts to it. So sometimes you can see it on my face. I just dropped it. You can see, see it on my face, but they do dissolve. Then the next product is going to be my oil. This is the Beauty Bakery Wake and Bake, which I haven't used in a video. Whenever I try foundations, I don't use it because I don't want it to mess with the, the the formula of the foundation that I'm trying out for the first time so I haven't used it on a video but this one is really hydrating I love this before applying foundation it just looks very very nice and today I'm going to be using a very full coverage foundation which is the Tarte face tape and I haven't tried it with this oil a few of y'all have told me that you've tried it and you love it so I'm so glad that you got a chance to try it out for yourself if you have dry skin I think you would really like it and then the moisturizer that I'm going to use is this one by Pixi and this one's a very very thick moisturizer and this one is good for before your foundation and you can also even use this one as a mask like apply a thick layer and leave it on for does it say five minutes or ten five minutes and then rinse it off so today I actually ordered a few things from Ulta. Um, I don't know if to do a haul with it. It's not like a lot of things, but what the main thing I wanted to get was a face a face mask, a hair mask, because I just I have like the last bit of my mask that I have been like saving. Like no, I'm gonna run out, so <laughs> I haven't been wanting to use it. I'm gonna actually primer. I'm gonna use the primer first. Uh, the Too Faced Hangover RX Three in One. So I have uh, been doing hair masks because I've been trying to let my hair grow out because it was so damaged. It's not anymore. It's like getting way better. I still have a little bit on the ends of my hair that is not like super great, but it's not bad at all anymore like compared to what it used to be. And I did find a line that works really good, which is the Maui Moisture. And I did have the hair mask for that, but I wanted to try something else that I know has very, very good reviews and I'm hoping that it does an even better job. So I got the It's a 10 hair mask and I also got the it's a 10 leave-in 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 leave spray so that way I can use that after I'm done with my blow dry so for foundation I'm gonna use the Tarte double duty um, face tape yeah that's what it's called I'm gonna take two pumps of this and I'm gonna wet my beauty blender one more time there we go and uh, let me take some off it's a little too wet I'm just gonna play this everywhere um so I got those two things and then I also got I had points for Ulta so I knew for sure I was gonna get the hair stuff I wanted to get a face cleanser because you see I get these random breakouts and I think it's because I'm still leaving some makeup on my skin it's very possible that that could be it and so I'm just gonna try to do that like a little bit of a a little cleansing machine that it just like you know it, it's electric so I got one it's by Revlon I'm gonna try the, that one out first see if I like it of course the popular ones are like the Clarisonic and all of those but I don't know if I'm gonna like it yet so I'm just gonna try the Revlon one yet first let me know if you've tried one of those machines before but okay so I got that one and then I got this little roller thing to like one of those <laughs> roller things that after you do like like kind of like a facial little thing or you know those what are they called i don't know what they're called but you can use them while you're doing like your face skincare stuff so i'm gonna try that and then i got one more thing what was that last thing oh no i just got another morphe brush the m514 that i use all the time in my videos 
one of these little blending brushes so I got another one and that was it so it's not really like a huge haul but what I was thinking if you care is for me to do a video like doing my skincare stuff because I always do this certain facial routine whenever I do like one of those deep cleansing nights or I moisturize and I do a mask and I do that I, I do that every once in a while like maybe once every two weeks or something like that and it's not like super often but I do do it and I do feel like it works really good with my skin I'll apply one of those little things to remove blackheads like I'll do all the little steps like just right here bringing everything to my desk and like trying everything out and then showing you just like what I do on one of those nights I guess like a skincare night type of thing i feel like maybe a video like that would be fun like i said it's not doing my makeup but it's still like skincare so i thought maybe it would be a good idea if i show you what i got plus things that i already do like the other things that i got is like brand new so i don't know how it's gonna work so if that sounds like something you would like to see let me know um and then for concealer today i'm gonna use the tarte shape tape and i also got out the Makeup Forever HD just in case I want to mix it in there because I don't don't know if this is going to be a little too brightening. Let me put this on my forehead and see how see what the difference is. Oh no, they're almost the same shade. There was not like a big reason why I just mixed those two <laughs> concealers together. I was just trying to see like what the shade were what what the shade was like to see if there was one that was a little too light. Which I am liking this color way better than the light sand that I used to use. That one was a little too light. The concealer, I have it in the color light neutral. The foundation, I also have it in the color light neutral, which is 22N. And in case you want to know about the Makeup Forever one, this one's in the shade 21. Okay, so next I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Powder. I'm going to set my under eyes first. And I guess I'll go ahead and set my eyelid. And I'm going to set everywhere that I applied the concealer with this brush. I'm going to use the same powder for the rest of my face. I'm just going to use this big fluffy brush. Which I do get questions on where I got this brush from. This is by Sleek Makeup. I got it from Walgreens. And the last time that I checked, because one of y'all asked me in the comments, I went to go check and of course I told her, you know, I got it from Walgreens. But they were on sale because it is a set. They were on sale. It's six brushes and they were on sale for $10. So... I always use this one for powder now and then I always use the next size over for bronzer and they work really good so if you're interested in those hopefully they still have them at Walgreens for $10. So I'm done with the brows and now I'm gonna contour. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild, my very trusted Wet n Wild palette and I'm only gonna use the contour shade in here because it does have the powder, the highlighting shade but I'm not gonna use that one. And Almost running out of the other one, too. I think that was a lot on my forehead. So I'm just going to blend it out a little bit with my powder brush. And for blush today, actually, this is my bronzer. I'm going to use the bronzer from this palette. This is by NARS. This is one of the ones from the holiday kits or holiday collections that they had. And I'm going to go ahead and use this bronzer right here. Like I said, I'm going to use this big fluffy brush from Sleek Makeup. And then for the blush today, I got the Kylie Cosmetics pink one. It's a very, very light pink shade. This is from the Valentine's collection. And I'm going to use my Morphe JH04 brush. Clean, I clean all my brushes. Like, they're all clean. I have so many options. Um, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Volume 3 highlighter. And I'm going to use it with my Anastasia brush right here. Was it this one that I like to use it with? I don't remember. I think I use it with any brush. I don't remember now, but it looks really pretty. I'm going to apply this on my the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, and also on my forehead. Okay, so I'm going to use the Ruby Obsessions palette first, and I'm going to begin with this shade right here. Is that what I want to do? Actually, I'm going to pack it on first. Use my MAC brush and I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to apply this on the... I'll just use this smear right here. I'm going to apply this one on my crease right here. I hope that it turns out like how I want it to. And I'm going to take my Morphe M514 brush and just go over the edge over and over until it blends out. I don't really want to go up too high with this shade either. 
So I just took a little bit more product and I'm just gonna slowly blend this out. I'm just adding a little bit more color little by little but keeping the the smoked out or the blended out part low so that way I don't go too high up. I really want this to look more like a reddish, not reddish but like a cranberry berry type of color, type of eye look. Sometimes I do a cut crease and I make my eyelid look like it's bigger or like it's higher up here and I don't think I'm going to do anything like that today. I'm just pretty much going to work with my eye shape, you know, just the way that it is not a uh, cut crease or anything like that to where it looks you know gives the illusion that I have a bigger eyelid space or anything like that so yeah I think that looks pretty good next color is going to be from this palette and I'm gonna take a different brush but it's gonna be just like a packing on I'm gonna use a different brush and I'm gonna use the dark brown dark brown <laughs> the dark purple and I'm gonna apply this one all over the eyelid like I said, I'm sure you can get the cranberry color, the ruby color, and these purple colors from like any other palette. I just haven't used these little palettes in a little while, so. Now I'm going to take the brush that I was using earlier, the M514, and blend out the edge. Again, I'm not going to go up too high either because I don't want to bring up this purple too much. I'm going to use that brush that I used to pack on the shade, but I'm not going to add any more color yet. And I'm going to go over this edge because it's going to help me blend it out a little bit since it still has a little bit of product. You see how it just makes the crease look really deep? And it's pretty much the crease, like my natural crease. It's not like I'm doing a cut crease and like making it darker in the back or anything like that. And I think that's going to look really nice because it's like my own eye shape, you know? So now I'm going to take a little bit more of the purple and pack it on all over the eyelid again. And then using the M514 again, I'm going to go back into this brush, into this palette, and take a little bit of that red shade. And one more time, go over the edge. Again, on the same area, not bringing it higher. So I'm getting a lot of fallout, especially from the purple, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off before it's like too much. Now, what I wanted to do was use a little bit of glitter, like a very dark purple glitter, probably this one in the corner. I think that's what I want to do, just right in the center, not really anything else, you know? So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a little bit, well, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit with my synthetic brush, and I'm going to use this one right here, and apply this on the center of my eye. It's not a glittery one either, so it's not going to show up that much, but it's just going to give me a highlighted effect right here in the center. Like a glowy effect. I don't know if I like it because it made it look too light. So I'm going to go over it with the matte purple shade that I was using. Yeah, I think I like that better. I'm not going to... I'm not going to change my mind <laughs> on the shimmer. Now I'm just going to leave it like that, I guess no shimmer for today's look and then on the lower lash line i'm also going to use these shades the same shades and i'm going to start off with the red one and i'm going to use this flat little brush right here this is the morphe jh43 and i'm gonna apply this one really close to my eyelashes down here and actually i don't think i'm gonna add a purple but we'll see depending on how it looks no, I don't think I'm going to add the dark purple. I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay, so I'm going to use this one on my waterline. This one is called Alkaline. It's a waterline pencil by Urban Decay, one of the 24-7 glide-on pencils. But let me swatch it first. Oh yeah, I think this one's going to be fine. This is like a very dark purple, which I think looks like a perfect shade for the waterline here. And then for my falsies, I'm going to use the ones that I used in one of my last tutorials. These are called Kendra or the Style Kendra, and these are by the Lash Boratory. Since I'm not going to use any eyeliner today, any black eyeliner, dual wing or anything, I'm going to apply my falsies with my clear duo glue. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara so I can blend it into my falsies. And I'm going to use this same mascara, which is the Smashbox Super Fan. And I'm going to apply this one on my lower lashes. I'm not going to use this one on my lower lashes. I'm going to use my Roller Lash by Benefit. Okay, so done with the eyes. I am loving it. This is exactly what I had in mind. Just something purple, cranberry, reddish type of tones. I really like the way that it looks. And I'm actually glad 
that it's all matte because you know the shimmer didn't work out but that's fine I thought I would like the shimmer but I actually like the way that it looks with just the matte so I'm okay with that it didn't work out should go ahead and try this look with this purple look now it's gonna look really really dark but I also have some other lipsticks and I also have another lipstick that it might go good with and I think one of these this one by Kylie Cosmetics is called punk this one might be good or one of the Milani ones. It's just, you know, kind of purple but a little lighter. This one's called Classic. So I'm going to see. But I'm going to try it with the purple one. If I don't like it, then I'll switch it. But I think I will. So while that's drying and I kind of make up my mind if I like it or not, I'm going to go ahead and apply the highlighter that I used on my face. On my inner corners and also on my brow bone because it is missing that. And I think it'll look much better with that. Yeah. Okay, so I took off the purple one. Once it dried, I don't know, it just didn't look exactly the way I wanted it to after I was done. But I decided to go with Kylie Cosmetics in the color Basic, which is a cool tone nude brown color. And I think it looks really pretty. So this is what I would have paired it up with anyways. Um, but I did want to try the purple just to see how it looks. But I didn't really like it. And of course, you already know you can use any palette, any single eyeshadows that you have to recreate this look. But I was glad that these two palettes gave me the look that I was going for. So... Happy about that. It turned out the way I wanted it to. Also, don't forget, let me know what you think about the whole skincare idea thing. Like I said, it would be a video of doing the first impressions on the products that I'm going to get. And I mean even the hair mask and the... What else? Uh, the little thing to remove my makeup. Like after removing my makeup, cleaning my skin, and then of course the facial part or the facial cleansing and the mask that I'm gonna do after that like the oil that I use and you know the little strip thing on my nose like that part I already do all the time so that's not anything that's new to me or like something that I'm trying out no that's that part of the video will be like things that I already do but the new stuff would be things that I'd be trying out so let me know what you think about that if it sounds interesting to you again thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye